all I want to do is like totally love. Like that's actually all everything is about. Like it, not in any like restricted idea of love of, uh, that we've learned, but one of a blazing open heart that's always available, always open. Essentially that's all human beings are is like the complete presence of powerful benefit. And um, when we come to a balanced view meeting, that's all we will hear. And that's, I can see for myself, all that I've um, been supported to get to know about myself. And just, just intended and purposed to be of benefit. And that everything I think and feel and experience also. And uh, I see that it just takes a bit of time to get used to. That loneliness can be the shining forth of my beneficial potency, my superpower. Oh my God. Like all those things I've never wanted to have. Like, I mean, loneliness on my own, but then loneliness with other people. Doesn't it? You, that doesn't, really doesn't make sense. Like with a crowd of people and you feel totally lonely. Illogical. And then just letting that be as it is. So when we come to the Balance View training, what Balance View is here is to introduce us to open intelligence, our own open intelligence, which is the fundamental intelligence that we can recognize right now. If we just stop thinking for a moment, we can notice an alight, alert brightness, cognizance, an openness an intelligent openness that's always present, that's open intelligence. And the simple practice in Balanced View training is to just relax as we are and recognize that intelligent openness, open intelligence. And what we can see then is that within this intelligent openness, there's all sorts of experiences. We experience everything as it, through it. We can never switch it off. So all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, everything is appearing in this intelligence, as this intelligence. And that we could term data, just to keep it like simple, reducible, like Candice said in the talk. And, um, and what we learn is that we can just let the data be as they are. The data, everything we experience is inseparable from this intelligence, like the color blue and the sky. And so when we start to let that our experience simply be as it is, we start to find increasing beneficial potency. Seeing for myself that for most of my life, I just learned there are some good experiences and some bad ones. And I wanted to have only the good ones, like only. And I was really good at it, like just so focused, so dedicated to the practice of having good experiences, like happy, popular, um, always having a good time, must be having fun, free, Loads of things that came along with certain feelings, like not feeling tense or nervous or upset or angry or sad or lonely. And so I would cater my life to ensure I didn't feel those things. But really, it didn't mean I didn't feel those things. It just meant I was constantly busy, focused on myself, focused on how I could not feel them. And then coming into a balanced view meeting and being invited to just relax, let myself be exactly as I am, that I am perfect, that we are perfect exactly as we are. We do not need to fix ourselves or fix anything about ourselves. Let everything shine forth exactly as it is. And anything we may label, like labels included, so for myself I'd see that a feeling would come up in my body, like a tightness in my chest or like tension in my body. And then I'd, be, then I'd start saying, oh, I'm anxious. I'm in this situation, I must be anxious. And then just letting that be, 
no longer describing, not perpetuating that story and then seeing for myself in direct experience what's going on. Noticing that open intelligence is there. This openness, constantly present, alertness, stability, clarity. And bringing ourselves back to that recognition again and again. And how to begin to describe the benefits of that in my life. Like everything I've ever wanted to know, the connectedness, that fun and ease and what was it called the other day? Bliss playtime or <laughs> something. It's just like, wow, I don't need to run away from myself anymore. <coughs> and actually when I just let those feelings and experiences be as they are that I've always run away from, like loneliness, just what an intimate connection that is with myself and all. What complete knowledge. Like who else in the world is feeling that this time? and trying to change their situation because of it. We let it be as it is and we come into this incredible wisdom about ourselves and everyone simply by not pushing it away. It is not what I'd learn about my experience at all. I'd, been, I'd learned to push it away. I'd told myself I mustn't feel this. And now to realize, wow, it's like such direct, precious human wisdom right there and letting ourselves be completely open to feeling everything fully. Then we know how to act, and then we know what to do and how to be of benefit instinctively. And so in situations where we do feel, where a lot comes up in relationships with people, where we may feel a lot of resentment and hatred, your question is so beautiful. We want to see the benefit there. That's what I saw for myself. I want to see the benefit in my experience. And so I take it to the four mainstays. Open up completely. And like you said, being in touch with, your, like being in touch with our trainer. Looking at it. Because knowing that I don't want to be limited anymore by resentment, contempt and hate and blame. And that doesn't mean that we have to act in any certain special way, like be nice to people. But we get to know very directly the nature of that experience in that we find complete compassion and understanding instinctively, way beyond what we could think up about ourselves and the other person and everyone in that situation. It's our guiding force when we feel it all completely and also using the tools of balanced view, things like, well, being in touch with our trainer, which is one of the mainstays. So the four mainstays of balanced view are short moments of letting everything be as it is. Short moments of relying on open intelligence until it becomes continuous. The second mainstay is the training and training media. Hearing people from all over the world, trainers all around the world, sharing their experience of just letting their experience be as it is. Recognizing open intelligence in their daily life. And also participants from around the world who are also finding benefits from this. And then we have a trainer who can be in touch with about anything that's going down in our life and ask for support. Like, how is it for you? I have this situation. How is it? Please share with me so I can know the benefit in my own experience. And then, and so we can just be in touch completely about any situation, and look at it clearly. And I just see for myself how invaluable that is for the first time in my life, having someone that has no agenda apart from my complete empowerment for me to know the benefit for myself. And then the fourth, and fourth mainstay is the community. All of you. <laughs> and what a community. People taking responsibility for their own experience, not wanting resentment or any other data stream to get in the way of relating, but to remain completely open-hearted. How can my, sh my love and appreciation shine bright and constant? And that was my experience of being with the Balanced View community. I met people who were prioritizing that. And I always wanted to prioritize that. I just didn't know how to. And I really tried my best. And I know everyone tries their best. But until we're given the tools and the support, how do, we, how do we know that it's possible to let loneliness be as it is, to let resentment and hate be as it is? 
And that within that, we can act beneficially, really powerfully, potently for the benefit of all. And so this education that we can receive with Balanced View is so significant. It's widely and freely available, purposefully so, so that everybody can benefit. Anybody who is interested to can take advantage of it. And just seeing that increasingly just love and appreciation shines bright and constant. Just that it, in, those, in those situations where I thought this is a sign of lack of love and appreciation, that that's our fundamental nature, it just shines forth like nothing needed to be done. The more I relax, so the key is just relaxing as we are. Blissful relaxation in each moment. And we align ourselves with this inherent and natural benefit, potent benefit, capacity to act, speak, be with people in all situations, know how to use our these incredible qualities that we have of mind, speech, and body. We're so incredible. I mean, human beings are so incredible.